Hello YouTube planet, this is Matt Baker from Liquid Earth and I came here today to tell you a little bit about electroformula. I've been checking out images online for a while and it got pretty fascinating so I decided to do a little research on the computer and I found a site called ABR Imagery and they sent me a catalog and they also sent me a kit. And the catalog is actually pretty much the most amazing catalog I've ever seen. They have everything in here that your little glass blowing heart could desire. They got Dicro, Mill Furies, torches, kilns, they got everything. Anyway, they sent me the kit and I prefer for you guys a little video that tells you how it's done. Check it out. Alright, so when your kit arrives, you're going to get in the box a digital rectifier with a power cord. You're going to get a set of alligator clips. You're going to get a glass jar. You're going to get a bottle of the electroforming solution. You're going to get a bottle of the copper brightener. You're going to get a bottle of the electroconductive paint a package of anodes, copper, one package of 10 gauge wire, one package of 18 gauge wire, one package of wax polish, one pack of paintbrushes, some rubber gloves, scotch bright pad, rubber bumpers, Steel wool, activated carbon filter, and some coffee filters. Alright, so now that you've opened up your package and you're familiar with all the little different parts, go ahead and put your copper solution in the jar. And on top of the rim, you want to place the rubber bumpers. And then you're going to use the 10 gauge wire to fashion yourself this little u-shaped thing that goes over the top of the jar and off of that will hang your anodes and your anodes will have a little loop of the 18 gauge wire so that it can hang off of this piece back here you're also going to want a six inch piece of the 10 gauge wire put in the middle and that is what your bead will hang off and that is the cathode. So this is what it should end up looking like uh, once you get it all set up. You've got your positive coming in through the anode which your anodes are then hanging on and then you've got your negative attached right here to your cathode. And in the center here, you're going to hang your bead in the end after I get it painted. I just have to paint it with the electroforming paint before it will conduct electricity. Also make sure that the cathode is snugly between your bumpers. Again, that's so that you don't arc the electricity from the positive to the negative. All right, so here I have my piece. And this is the subject of the electroforming experiment here. I have an eyeball pendant which I previously made which beforehand looked a lot like his little buddy over there and I've painted it nice and neatly around the eyeball there just leaving the actual ball itself to be glassy and then I want the outside part to be coppery and gnarly and uh, you gotta make sure that you actually encase the thing. It's got the, the copper paint has to go around the edge, otherwise the um, electroform will literally fall off. It actually needs to physically grab the object or it won't work. On the top I have a little piece of the 18 gauge wire here and I'm going to hang that from the central bar with the negative wire attached to it. And it's the cathode. And when this goes in the solution, the copper electrons will fly off of the anodes through the solution and deposit themselves onto the piece. And we are ready to electric bone. Alright, so now we are 
artificially electroforming. We have the rectifier set. We turn this knob up here, the voltage knob, to about half. And then this knob is really touchy and I set it to 0.4 amps. And that is because you need 0.1 amp per square inch of electroform surface. And I guesstimated about four square inches on the eyeball. It might be a little high, it might be a little low. If the uh, piece starts coming out too chunky, then I need to turn my amperage down. If it starts looking pink like salmon, then you want to turn up. Okay, so I've got him in here. He's sitting there, he's going. And we're gonna come back in about a half an hour and turn up the amperage just a little bit. He looks pretty happy in there. Well, it's been about a half an hour. Actually, a little bit closer to an hour. And we're actually already got a nice little copper, copper film on there. Hasn't started building up the gnarly particles, which I really like. But I don't want to get them too crazy, so I'm gonna do it slowly. Put it in for another hour or so, we'll come back and check on it. I haven't seen any negative results. So I think I'm gonna turn up the power supply just a little bit. Maybe 60. 60 is good. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours now and I, uh, I think I'll quit while I'm ahead. Uh, turn the rectifier off and uh, I'll uh, take off the clips and uh, take out the bead which is looking pretty sweet all right as you can see here the anode has almost been completely used up used all that copper and it all went on the piece the piece is actually pretty heavy now all right, so I hope that clears things up. And uh, now I got myself a really sick pendant. And if you're interested in these pendants or electroforming or anything else you see in these videos, t-shirts, hit me up, leave me a comment, and I'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching.